Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, we're going to show you how to create this amazing effect, which is you kind of like popping out of the frame in Canva. If you've not watched my other tutorials on using frames in Canva, I'll put a link up here for you and also down in the description and in the first comment as well. And do check out those comments because down there I've got links to my Facebook um, community and also a 45 day free trial of Canva that you can check out. So do check out those links down below, but let's get into Canva and have a look at today's tutorial. For those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I am a Canva certified creator and creative. So I actually design templates that you can be found on Canva. And I just like to help the community and people that are using Canva to create better content. So let's dive into Canva and have a look at how we can create this really nice effect of someone just popping out just like this. Um, and here's another option as well. This can be used in any frame that you like in Canva. I'm going to start off with a circle and then show you another design that will help you as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we've created or we've opened up a blank template. This is just an Instagram template, which is going to be 1080 by 1080. It's ideal for um, images like this. So if you're wanting to use them for social media, for your Facebook, your Twitter or any other social media where it's a square image or sometimes cropped into a circle, which is why I'm going to use a circle. And what we do is we come down to elements. So under elements, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of frames that you can use here. And this is going to allow us to put a, an image inside that frame, but also we're going to resize it and then crop it in a way that allows it to look like you're actually popping out from that frame and you can get really creative with this and if you've not watched my other video on using different frames or some of the secret hidden frames i'll also put a link to that video up here down in the description below because there are some really cool frames that don't show up when you click on frames but there's a secret way that you can find them what we're going to do is we're going to add the circle on there this is just a circle frame and then we're going to come to my uploads and i'm going to choose an image that I want to be popping out. So let's say I want to use this image here. So I'm going to come up onto this image here and I want to kind of be a little bit bigger than that. So if you double click on the image, that will bring it up so you can resize it and then you can have it. So I'm kind of popping out of the image and something around about like that will be fine. Now you're thinking, well, hang on a minute, Darren, that's not popping the image out. I know. So what we're doing is we're adding in a second copy of that image to the canvas. We're going to come up to effects and we're going to come to background remover. And this will remove, it does a really good job of removing the background around your image. And then all we're going to need to do is if you look at that image and if there's any bits that you want to, uh, that you're going to want to pop out if you any bits that you want to kind of erase extra bits or restore extra bits you can come up to here but once you're happy with the image you just click away and that gives you your image now what we're going to want to do is just resize this image so I'm just going to drop the transparency down a little bit it's going to want to resize this image so it's the same size as the other image that we were using so if I drop the transparency down, as I showed you, then it will allow you to kind of resize it that little bit. And you can use the arrow keys to kind of get as close as possible on here. And that's going to be close enough for what we're doing with this image. You can be a little bit more careful. You can see there, actually, that's probably going to be a little bit better. There you go. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to click away and we're going to change the transparency back to the full transparency and then once you then click back on it you can actually then crop the image so you can see here now that looks like i'm actually popping out of the image good technique to make it look and stand out a little bit further is if you come over to elements and you just add in a colorful circle behind the background you can change this to any color you want. Let's say we want to make it circle is um, orange and just move that backwards. And we want to make that circle a little bit bigger. And we're going to put that in the center in the, in the middle. We'll make it a little bit smaller center 
and the middle. Now that makes it look like I'm actually popping out, not just from the image, but you can also see around the edge here as well. And this is really good, as I say, for your like social media and things like that. Makes your image on your social media stand out a little bit more and if you want to get noticed. Now, a couple of other designs that I've created using this technique, and I'm just gonna copy this in here, because this is one that I did uh, earlier on when I was playing about to show you this technique. You can see even a little bit of this where it's my hoodie is kind of like coming over the edge there, which is really good on this particular version of this image. But you can also, you can get creative. This is uh, just a laptop frame that was um, under the frame elements. So you can come, as I say, you can come over to frames and it doesn't have to be a blank frame. It could be one of these. It could be a, a phone frame or any of these frames that you want. You just create it. Really creative option that you can do is this classic, very cheesy Instagram image. But to me, it, when you do it this way, it makes it look like I'm almost kind of pulling the person out of the screen, if you like, um, which I think is really, really nice effect. So if you really like this effect, don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. I've got one more that I'm gonna show you quickly. And that is, this now you can also do this effect with letters and things like that so if you come down to frames you can come down and you can see as you scroll down you've got different letters and what you can do is you can then drop the image into each of the letters stretch it over the background and if you change that background image you can come to the uh, filter options you can see i've changed that background to um, a grayscale I'll just show you there. So I've just changed it to a grayscale, but I've also applied a filter to some of these ones. So it makes that image look like it's popping and the word sun on there as well. Another little quick tip, one last quick tip before you go. When you come to adding different effects, you sometimes you might want to have that kind of like glow effect. And when you come to effects with um, Canva, you can't add multiple effects at the moment. However, if you create the word summertime and you see this one has got the neon effect, so you can change that so it makes it look like it's glowing. But if you then add in the summertime over the top, that gives it that outline look and it makes it that pop that little bit more. Anyway, that's enough of me rabbiting on for today. If you really like this tutorial, as I say, don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. Check out my community. I'd love to see you join the Facebook community that I'm creating. And until next time, thank you very much. Bye for now.